Hello everyone. In one of our previous tutorials, we showed you how to create this e-commerce store and also add this homepage slider. Now, some of you have asked me, how do we actually do this and add the homepage slider without it showing up on all the other pages? So now, if I go to a category page, for example, the slider is still there. If I select a particular product, the slider is still there and taking up a lot of space on the product page as well. So how do we make that slider appear on the home page only? Because that's really the only place it should belong so that your visitors don't get distracted from purchasing your products. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Okay, so we're going to start on our eMedia Coach page and look in the description below. You'll see a link to this page here. It is the cheat sheet or the one page explainer for our tutorial to make a e-commerce site. But if you scroll down, you'll see some frequently asked questions. And here's one we're going to address right now. How do I make an image slider full screen on the home page only? And then what I've done is provided you some code over there that you just need to copy and paste like I show you now. So anyway, Let's get into our WordPress dashboard. Firstly, actually, I'm going to assume that you've already set up your homepage slider. If you haven't, watch this tutorial and in the description of the video, you'll see a timestamp for the slider section if you haven't already set it up. So I'm assuming you've already set that up. If you haven't, do that first. Then get into your dashboard and go to appearance and customize. Two things to check before you start inserting any code anywhere. Go to home page control and make sure this selection here is deselected. We don't want that to be selected. If that's selected, then what you're going to see is possibly two sliders on the page like that. So make sure that's deselected. The second check before we start is just going back into the home page settings. Make sure this checkbox is enabled. Show the front page slider on all pages. Make sure that is enabled and then hit publish when you've got those things done. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to additional CSS. And there is a box here where you can add some custom code. And what I've done is taken the time to go through and figure out the code that I need to add to block the slider from appearing on any page except the home page. So what you need to do now is go to this page here, come down to the FAQs and find this thing here and copy this entire section from the very beginning to the very last bracket. So copy that and now back into here, just right click and paste and then hit publish. Now if I refresh the website, okay cool so the sliders on the home page. Now let's check one of our product pages and there we are the slider does not appear so it's absolutely perfect. It's not distracting visitors from purchasing our products anymore and this is the best practice when it comes to e-commerce stores. Hopefully that's helped you out a little bit because I've had quite a few of you ask me how to do that and it was a very valid question. And so if you have any questions about that, please do ask in the comments below and I'm more than happy to help. Otherwise, just give this video a thumbs up. And by the way, this would only work with the storefront theme. You can try it with other themes, but I'm 99% sure this will only work with the WordPress storefront WooCommerce theme.